guys. I've just been to Poundland. My name's Fawn and this is my channel and it's a happy place and a sunny place today. How wonderful for Good Friday for it to be sunny. I, they, they were forecasting really bad weather and maybe that's going to come tomorrow but it'd be really nice if it's stuck around. Anyway, my name's Fawn. This is Bert being a pain and Mimi's just run by with something she shouldn't have. And I do unboxings and I do shopping and I do hauls and I do all kinds of nonsense and if that sounds like your kind of thing please do give me a thumbs up. Click subscribe and leave a comment. So I've just been to Poundland and I'm going to show you what I got. Now Poundland at the moment is getting rid, please don't but getting rid of the Easter things and they are filling the shelves with um, summer things so buckets and spades, pools, you know padding pools, <laughs> pools, <laughs> um, things like that. So it's very patchy in there today. It'll be better I think after the weekend and they'll have properly filled the shelves but I still got some great things and I thought I'd show you. First up I managed to get the white one. I've never seen the white one in my local um, Poundland. I've only seen the hot pink ones as you know I've bought two. One is up in the bedroom, one is in this room. I couldn't resist the white one. They're so pretty and they're only three pounds. I got one of these to try. It was a pound which I think is a good buy. It's a painter's buddy which I I think you can hang that off things when you put paint in it but I was fascinated by it. It's got a magnet in there, can you see? So it'll hold the paintbrush on the side without dropping it down in. As you know I've been doing a ton of decorating lately. Oh, finally finished my mother's yesterday and that's another story. Um, but it was a pound and I thought that sounded really really good. I know when I go up a ladder it can be awkward especially if you've bought a big vat of paint. I buy the little uh, containers that you can decant into but they don't have a handle and they don't have this magnet which I'll see whether it works. This is such a mixed pack of things. Picked up for my mum some more body butter. She goes through body butter at a heck of a rate. This is a pound. This is the Fern McCann one. Coconut scented. It is. It's lovely. But I mean a pound. That's not bad is it? When you think what um, body shop and I'm sure body shop has got amazing ingredients in it but I mean a pound got myself a deodorant. I like the Vaseline aloe. Uh, I also like the Dove. They're the two that I sort of really enjoy but I do like this one so I picked that up. If you remember I bought one of these acrylic paint markers when I went last time in the gold. I have had a go of it and it is good so I picked up the gold again because I think that's the one I'm most likely to use but they also had um, silver and black. So you know when you're doing little little details on things, I think they have some other colours as well but I, I just think they're the main ones that I'm likely to want to do little details of things on and a pound ago I, mean, I just think that's amazing value. I got in the car, now I've got an eye infection at the moment so I can't wear my contact lenses so I'm wearing glasses um, and that is causing me a lot of problems especially decorating and things honestly ladies I have been not a happy girl this last few days. Um, but I jumped in the car, sun was shining, we get halfway down the road, I knock the um, mirror down to have a little look and what do I discover? A hair on my chin. <laughs> Honestly I could have hung a collection of beads off it, it was that long. How I can have missed this hair I do not know. And I searched high and low in my car and couldn't find um, tweezers or anything. So when I was in Poundland, obviously for a pound, they do this little set uh, they call it the manicure set and I'm going to open it up. This is going to live in the car. I did think about having it in my handbag but it's just another thing to carry around. Just open it up. Let me put the rubbish over here. So inside you get a little clippers, a scissors, a little nail file, um, a sort of a pusher thing but tweezers and it closes up. can live in the car and then I won't have to, I was like, for once in my life, I'm happy that we're wearing masks. Because honestly, if a unicorn has a horn, I, I mean, I don't know what I would have called it, but how I have not seen it, it must have been growing there forever. It was that long. But the sun caught me, and I was like, what is that? Oh my God, oh no! And it was just this massive hair. So yeah, for in the car. Of course, I picked up some of my peanut brunch bars. It's no surprise really, is it? Every time I do a haul, there they are. But yeah, I got two. 
mostly because my daughter my eldest daughter is coming home for the weekend and she is also peanut mad so um they will probably be gone over the weekend because she'll be in amongst them the same as me for my younger daughter i picked up a couple of nail polishes two nail polishes by models own in one packet it's a hot pink and then this it looks like it's black it's actually not black it's um like a navy a very very dark 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 blue i'm in a pound for two pots of nail polish i think that's really good so um i grabbed them for her because uh <laughs> she's not very good at um staying on top of things like her nails so this will be a nice little reminder and one of them i think it's just the one yeah this one's actually a hyper gel so it should last an awful lot longer than normal um yeah this is called blue chrome that's how dark it is i got some more yoohoo i used the other tube that i bought doing the um easter bonnets with the kids so <laughs> i picked up two of these i actually thought i'd picked up three but i picked up two of these these are these uh covers for um over food we're moving into barbecue time of the year. I think these things are wonderful, but they do get ever so dirty and there's no real way to clean them. Uh, they're the little net, I'll open one up. You know, they're the little net sort of umbrella things that you can put over food outside to keep the flies and wasps and so on off. Um, and it just, oops, <laughs> see if I can do it without causing trouble. You pull the string, push it down, whoop, why is that not connecting oh there we go <laughs> and there you have it you can just put it over your plate of sandwiches or your you know collection of beef burgers that have just been on the grill or whatever so i picked up two of them but they tend to get especially the bottom bits where they the meat can touch on it and things they start looking really nasty and you don't want them around your food so it's a pound i thought as i say that i picked up three but i picked up two so i should be getting more probably we like a barbecue here sometimes bit of fun oh bit of fun for the boys i picked them up a whoopee cushion i think it, what's weird about it is it seems to have like a sponge inside i'm just gonna oh no it is working <laughs> they've never had one and i saw it and i thought oh my god they're gonna think that's just the funniest thing to do to each other and hide on their desk so i'm gonna i've been april fools i know um april 1st was yesterday but still I'm sure they could get their dad tonight see granny is a very bad influence pick myself up some more stickers um i go through these at a heck of a rate these are really pretty these are all tropical ones so hello summer um i've never been but it's on my bucket list um let me see summertime summer trip all that sort of thing um, and this one I thought was absolutely brilliant. It says things like follow your heart, do not compare yourself to others, um, you know, carpe diem. I was really thrilled with that. So, um, yeah, some stickers for my bullet journaling that kind of motivates me along. I also put them on letters and cards as well. I picked up another box of the gin and tonic after eight minutes because of course my daughter is coming with her new husband who is the gin and tonic man and uh, i thought they would enjoy these this weekend i bought the boys some chewits strawberry laces now i don't know that they've ever had strawberry laces but my kids loved them when they were young uh, i think they're old enough to be safe with them now so i thought yeah let's sit in the garden and chew on some strawberry laces take me back got some books whoops i got some books for the boys and i got a book for myself as well books for the boys these are new ones they're called amazing machines i bought six so i got um tremendous tractors I like to get things like this because of course this is what their daddy does tremendous tractors uh flashing fire engines tough trucks dazzling diggers cool cars amazing aeroplanes and they're really good I'll, I'll just give you an example of one of them you don't want to see all of them do you guys but it was the um tremendous tractors i noticed first because of course as i say that's what daddy men's um so they climb all over tractors all the time but what i quite like about it is it actually explains what they do so it says their big black tires have solid treads which help them not to slip 
these chunky treads can chew the ground and get the wheels to grip i mean it's it's all in rhyme so it's fun for the kids but it's a little bit older and i mean um you know milo is four he is long past the sort of you know that's not my duck although we still do all of those books because of course we've got little lara but he's at the upper end so i'm starting to get in some books that are slightly different for him they also had things like uh oh something like um oh there was one about rockets there was one about spaceships i mean i just got the six most obvious ones i also picked them up some kinder chocolate um you just can't go wrong really with kids and kinder can you um i don't know what their mummy will say but it got picked up i picked up a book for myself now i finished former people flipping loved it so this one is about nero it's set uh in the time of nero i mean nobody really knows that much that went on but it's got rave reviews uh it says outstanding and extraordinary recreation of ancient rome uh a marvelous debut astonishing says sunday express i just thought yeah i'm, I'm gonna give it a whirl i really enjoyed having a book and um, going outside and sitting and reading um, I can't really do that with my Kindle. The glare on it is awful. So, so this was pounds. I do love all the sort of the Romans and, and all of that. I mean, obviously it's a fiction, but it's based on real people. So you pick up lots of bits and pieces. So yeah, I got a book. Then I did pick up some clothes this time. <laughs> so little Lara, let's start with her. I picked up the sweetest little dress for, hang on. Yes for three pounds look at that isn't that sweet um it's that soft peachy pink again it's got little rabbit pockets two of them just really simple and sweet and at three pounds if she wants to go outside and make you know mud pies with her brothers you don't care when it's three pounds yeah no you don't you just you, you might wish it wasn't the very first time she'd worn it but you know once she's worn it once or twice you just don't care and then i picked up these were separates i picked up this little skirt it's not sweet it's like a little sporty skirt this one was four pounds which you know it's more than the dress but it is very nice it's got embroidery it's got you know it's a bird and it says beautiful on it so i can see her wearing that and to go with it they didn't actually have a matching top for it so i had a little look around and i found this one which says pure love and it's from the lion king it'll be simba and what was the girl in the, the female oh gosh you guys won't even know or care will you i watch all these things with the kids but uh, la ooh, i want to say la la and it's not um but yeah I, it goes well enough that it makes a cute little outfit and that was how much did i pay for that one that was three pounds as well then i picked up for myself two play suits these are not to be seen in the light of day these i'm not going out in these although to say that i did last year with shirts over the top open shirts and denim jackets so maybe i will i picked up this one navy and white stripe um does it have pockets no it doesn't have pockets you find that on a lot of cheap things they don't have pockets but i thought it was really really nice it's got these mock mock buttons down the front they don't serve any purpose whatsoever um they just look nice and then it has a a, a tie front I just thought this was perfect for me wandering around doing a bit of gardening playing with the children I thought it would be a good buy uh, obviously I haven't tried it on yet and that was only five pounds and then I got a red one now this one's different because this one is jersey that's the sort of a it isn't cotton but it's a cotton-esque feel this one is jersey like a t-shirt it's got tie straps I thought the red was a lovely color um, this one does have pockets uh, and it has a pull string is it oh, no it's a fake pull string waist but can I show you that there we go that one was six pounds and I, I just you know I can see myself throwing those on and messing around and doing all my bits and pieces in the summer as I say would I wear them off you know outside um, 
in public let's say i'm not sure that i would but possibly with a denim jacket or a shirt over the top maybe i would i haven't tried them on yet last few things getting there now so i picked up matching for the boys these are sold as sets it is a little pair of gray shorts they're sort of um somewhere between a t-shirt and a sweatshirt fabric i think they're really nice what does that say on there that says dino explorer little pocket on the back and as i say it's a set so it comes with a little t-shirt can you see that really nice i'm dino might it says and raw is that it three pounds fifty for the set so for the shorts and the t-shirt i got them for my bigger boy too three pounds fifty i know what their mother is going to say it's a white t-shirt and we try to avoid that but at three pounds fifty you know and the shorts they'll boil up really well I, to be fair to be honest with you i was more impressed with the shorts than i was with the t-shirt but i mean the t-shirt's fine but it's that um it's not as thick as it could be you know it, it's a bit thin but the kids will like it they'll have fun and yeah i thought it was worth it last but not least as i say a lot of garden things now a lot of um toys for the garden are coming in i picked up these these are a 10 pack of steak lights they're only going to be ever so small little diddy ones pack of 10 for five pounds which makes them 50p each doesn't it because they're small i can scatter a lot of them around just outside these windows i have two flower beds because it goes down there are steps down and there are two flower beds before a very old uh, red brick wall um and i was only looking out the window the other day thinking it would be pretty to put some things so i picked these up i don't know whether they're any good they're solar lights and i have um mixed fortunes i must say with solar lights i bought some really expensive ones once oh they were glass they were real glass um they were my pride and joy they were crackled glass they were lovely uh i'm never thinking about the fact that of course little children are coming back into my life and i don't think there are any left now because they've been picked up by toddlers at various times picked up and then dropped and they've just smashed we've had literally I, I i'm not sure i've got one left and i did have 10 and they were a lot of money so i'm back to getting the plastic solar that the kids can i mean we don't encourage them to do it but you know what it's like with toddlers you're in the garden you turn your back for two minutes they've managed to find the one thing you don't want them to pick up so i don't have any anymore so i'm going to start again and i'm starting with these i also want to get some solar fairy lights and various things but um yeah i thought they were worth a try and i'll let you know whether they're any good or not I'm tempted to open and have a quick look so that was my shopping let's see one. Oh yeah look uh, can i pull that out oh yes you see oh. <laughs> see they're only diddy they're only diddy but scattered in amongst the flowers i think they'll look lovely so <laughs> that was my panman haul um, I'm back sort of back on my feet a little bit as I say I have an eye infection which is going now thankfully and I finally finished my mother's yesterday did the wallpapering yesterday it was just oh it was like the fourth bridge ladies I'm so glad she doesn't watch this channel because it means that I can be honest with you the woman is a pain in the bum every time I left after doing a piece of work in there she's so impatient she she decided she would carry on with whatever whatever the next job was or, or she'd extend the job or whatever and make more of a mess honestly i was ready to i don't have words i don't have words let's put it that way and then my uh, my younger daughter <laughs> my younger daughter the day before yesterday called in and caught her up a ladder at which point Thankfully, she told her off because it's always me that's doing it and then I feel like an ogre it's really difficult you know you love your parents you, you know, but a point comes when you almost have to become their parent which is really weird and uncomfortable and it's like that with mum now um not that she's lost her marbles although she's as scatty as a bloody loon but she's not you know she hasn't 
she hasn't got an illness, she hasn't lost her marbles, but she just does things that are inappropriate. And I seem to spend my life going, mum, you can't do that. Mum, don't do that. Mum, you can't climb on that. And they're not even things that I've been saying, mum, you can't climb on that since I was old enough to help because my mother has absolutely no balance. So we, all of us in the family, if there's something going on that you might need balance for, we, we automatically rule mum out because she just has no balance. Um, so it's been really difficult. I've, I've found it a bit of a strain actually because I, she's been upset with me for telling her she can't do things but then she's been doing them and making such a mess ladies oh such a mess thinking that a wall is white when actually it's cream and then she slaps white paint on it and you go in there and she patches in but you, you go in and you go what the hell have you done i literally seem to have said that almost every day for the last week or more it's been a terrible strain but it's done and it does look nice considering it's not my taste it does look nice all i've got to do now is get some nice carpet put down for her because again she decided to have wood flooring because i did when we uh when we did the houses she doesn't really like wood flooring and has never really liked it and has been unhappy about it i wish she hadn't done it so i'm going to put some carpet in there for her <laughs> And then hopefully, hopefully she'll settle down at least for a year, 18 months, something like that. Um, so I'm over the moon and then I finished and then it looks nice. But I swear if I catch her with a paintbrush or a, an anything, you will probably, you, I won't need to come on YouTube. I won't, I won't. It'll be in the papers. Woman's head explodes spontaneously. <laughs> anyway that's me that's i've had a right old ramble haven't i but yes my eldest daughter is coming home today with her new hubby um and we're gonna have a nice little easter weekend i'm so excited oh to have everybody under the roof will be um and i hope you all have lovely plans for easter even if it's just spoiling yourself with a little bit of something um it's a special time of the year easter i'm not going to go all religious on you <laughs> But it is special, we all know that. So, um, yeah, happy Easter to all of you. I will be on periodically. I've got a pre-filmed one that will be coming up. And yeah, ooh, I'm chitter-chattering, aren't I? But I will be back. I will be back. But I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Easter anyway. Okay, <laughs> bye, guys.